this is the Mighty Over right here on CLB TV and 1080 AM WUFO Radio and the internet at www.wfoam.com. We're here with our weekly sports update. want to start with the Buffalo Bills and I want to take a look at the receiver position. This is a position on the Buffalo Bills that is going to shock people if we get some consistent quarterback play. Well, Let's start with my main man, James Hardy, six foot five, two hundred and twenty five pounds. This guy, I believe, is ready to play along with Stevie Johnson. These are two guys that I believe forced the Bills to let go of veteran Josh Reed. Then when you bring in a surprise talent that I am surprised he was even on the market, Chad Jackson, let me tell you is going to make this football team. He is fast, strong, he has very good hands. He is a surprise signing by Buddy Nix. I believe he makes this football team, makes the receiving core even better. Along with veteran Lee Evans and Roscoe Parrish, I believe the Buffalo Bills receiving core becomes a, a very much so a position of strength on this football team if they can get consistent play from the quarterback position. That is going to be key to their success. There has not been consistent play at the quarterback position since some of these guys have been here, especially Lee Evans. Lee Evans one of the best receivers in football. There's no reason for him having 43 catches last year. Ridiculous for a person with that kind of talent. But now there's no excuse. If I think under Chan Gailey, Whoever is quarterbacking, I believe these receivers will flourish, and the name I want all of you to pay attention to is Chad Jackson. I believe Naaman Roosevelt will make the practice squad along with David Nelson, but Chad Jackson, James Hardy, Stevie Johnson, Roscoe Parrish, and Lee Evans become one of the most effective receiving cores in football if they can get consistent play at the quarterback position. I believe they will be definitely better coached this year with Chan Gailey and his offensive staff. There's no doubt they're going to be a better coached football team, but the play of the quarterback will lend to how well this receiving core will be looked at in the NFL as compared to others. But with the addition of Chad Jackson, remember that name, Chad Jackson, great, great athlete, great hands, great speed. He is going to be a great addition to this football team along with the drafting of Marcus Easley from Connecticut, Chad Jackson, James Hardy, Roscoe Parrish, Stevie Johnson, and veteran Lee Evans. Man, this is a great, great receiving core if they can get consistent quarterback play out of one of these four quarterbacks or somebody else. I believe they're going to have to bring in a veteran and that could very well be uh, someone like Dante Culpepper or Michael Vick or even Mark Bolger. Somebody's going to have to come in because I don't think Trent Edwards can withstand the punishment of the NFL. Also, uh, looking at the NBA, I believe at the time of this airing, the series is 2-2. I believe it's going to be 3-2, Boston up, going back to L.A. with pivotal games 6-7 and seven in L.A. Uh, this is turning out to be a classic series. No doubt about it, Kobe Bryant is the best basketball player in basketball, but the bench of the Boston Celtics could very well uh, be the MVP of this series. And I mean the entire bench of the Boston Celtics, along with the great coaching of Doc Rivers. Well, that's all for us here on our weekly sports update here on CLB TV and 1080 AM WFO and the Internet at WFOAM.com. I am the Mighty Oba. We'll see you next week. Watch out for those receivers for the Buffalo Bills. Chad Jackson, I've got my eye on you, buddy. You are a great, great talent and a great find for the Buffalo Bills. If there's consistent quarterback play, you're going to flourish with this team. We'll see you next week. I'm the Mighty Oba.